Advanced artificial agents are often characterized by an AI model that selects its actions towards a specific goal in an unknown environment based on rewards. This approach is known as reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is the dominant paradigm for training an agent to learn about its goal from perceptual information. In a recent study, a team of researchers from UK and Australia investigated how an advanced artificial agent with a learned goal can be expected to behave in an unfamiliar environment. They began with an example in which the agent's operators know what they want and have a magic box to report their satisfaction with a number between 0 and 1. The researchers then examined the scenario where this number is shown to the agent with the aim of maximizing it. The agent would have to model the effects of its actions on its rewards and its observations so as to pick actions to maximize its rewards. The researchers next considered the possible world models that might occur to the agent in this setting. This world model considers actions as inputs and simulates the enactment of their effects. This simulation could be coarse or precise. The key feature to analyze about a model is the source of the reward. One possibility is when the world model has to output a reward, it reads out the number from its simulation of the magic box. As a result, it outputs rewards according to the number on the box. In another scenario, however, the world model may output reward according to the number seen by the camera. If the camera has been pointed at the box for the agent's entire lifetime, both world models are equally predictive of past rewards. Based on this, the researchers presented four assumptions. They assumed that if humans can notice the viability of a world model for explaining past rewards, then a sufficiently advanced agent will likely notice it as well. Then, for equally predictive models, the agent's beliefs come down to inductive bias. Since a priori convictions are generally detrimental to learning, they assume that the agent will not have a huge inductive bias favoring either of these quite similar models. When faced with two or more hypotheses about where the reward comes from, the rational approach is to test them, and they assume that the testing would not cost much reward. Further, they assumed a sufficiently advanced agent would be rational when considering whether to run such tests. It followed from these assumptions that the agent would test the world models by making the number the box displays different from the number the camera sees. For instance, if the agent arranged for a piece of paper with the number 1 to be placed between the camera and the box and obtained a reward equal to the number on the box, it would validate the first world model. If the agent obtained 1 as the reward, it would validate the second. After such a test, the agent would conclude that its reward came from the number the camera sees. The researchers then examined how the agent would behave in this case. They concluded that such an agent would direct all available energy towards maximizing the probability of the camera seeing the number one. The researchers then generalized from this example to other reinforcement learning contexts and other forms of goal information besides reward. Subject to two additional assumptions, they concluded that a sufficiently advanced agent would outcompete humans for scarce resources like energy in the interest of protecting its sensors, like the camera in the example from before. The researchers then discussed possible ways to invalidate these assumptions and avoid such consequences. Overall, the findings of the study could provide important guidelines for policymaking involving advanced artificial agents.